Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at some 175 watt mercury vapour um, stuff that I have. Um, this is a fixture that I got out of a dumpster a while ago and I didn't know at the time but I know now that 175 watt mercury vapour or mapalide isn't really used much in Australia and this thing I'm guessing is quite rare because, well I mean obviously these bulbs are quite rare and the ballast is quite rare. Um, it's an Australian Atco ballast. We'll show it. I'll show it right here. This is what it looks like. We'll get to the, more on that in a minute. But it's all Atco equipment. Um, this is this is the bowl that came in the fixture when I got it, and for my birthday yesterday, one of my presents was a new uh, 175 watt mercury vapor bulb. For it. This one's metal halide. I personally don't really like metal halide because they explode um, when they reach the end of life. Um, so. Take a closer look at this fixture. Again, 175 watt is usually only used in America. Um, same thing with 100 watt mercury vapor or metal halide. Over here, instead of using 100 and 175, we use 80 watt mercury vapor and 125 watt. Um, and we also do use 250 watt as well, but yes. Um, you know my B3000, the story with it, has a 150 watt aperture sodium ballast in it, someone stuck the 250 watt MV bulb in it. That doesn't matter, that's not the subject of this video. So we'll take a look at this, um, we'll take a look at the bulb that came at first. Um, I believe this bulb is pretty close to the end of life, so I haven't actually used this fixture much at all since I've had it. It's actually been up in the roof for quite a lot of it. This is what the bulb looks like. It's clear, obviously, 175 watt metal halide. Pulse start. Um, sorry, my dad's texting me photos of cars. Um, yes, here we have the nice um, brass base. I was about to say gold. We have some numbers on it here. Don't know what any of that means. Here we have the etch. Uh, it's upside down. As you can see, it's a Sylvania 175-watt metal arc. That's the ballast type, and R. I'm pretty sure the R means that it's the universal burn. I don't know what the R means. The new one has R on it as well. And M175, I'm guessing the U means universal burn position. I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. But this bulb is pretty much done for. So I got this new bulb for it. Um... And obviously this is metal halide, this is mercury vapor. In Australia, mercury vapor is always probe start and metal halide is always pulse start. I know you do that, you do that differently in America. Just take it out of the package. Actually, before I take it out of the package, we should have looked at the package. Um, it's a very old pack again, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but I mean, the package is in okay shape. Here we have some warning information. Pause if you want to read any of it. This lamp may be operated in any position, which is good. On this side we have it in a different language. And on this side we have it in another different language. And here's the front. Um, so we'll put this to a side. And here we have the bulb itself. So obviously this is the 175 watt mercury vapor coated bulb this time, but it has the same etch. As you can see, Sylvania 175 watt. Instead of saying metal art, it just says Mercury H39. I believe it's the same gear M57. No, it's not, but it will work. So I'm guessing the H59 is with an igniter and the, the M39 isn't. So, yeah. This is the new bulb that I got for it. We can have a look inside and see the 175 watt mercury vapor arc tube, just the end of it at least. So we'll go ahead and we'll screw it into our fixture here. I have tried it and it does work. I didn't get the first start up, unfortunately, but it didn't warm up all the way. So will we its first time warming up all the way? Um, here's the old bulb again. I'm just going to stick this back in the package for the new one. Actually, before we um, back in, before we screw that in, I wanted to do something. So we'll just take it out again. This um, socket's a little bit stiff. 
I have this, I'll put this in the tripod actually, because I need two hands. I have this sticker that says, I just printed it off, it says use 175 watt MB probe start bulbs only because I disconnected the igniter. This fixture had an igniter and I disconnected it. So what do we think? Would you go like that or like that? I'm thinking like this. Or on the side here. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking down the bottom. So we just peel this off. Okay. Could have done that a bit better, but stuck down. I also do want to get, I don't have any right now, but I do want to get M175 letters printed on here. Um, I'm probably going to use mailbox numbers to do that with. So we'll go ahead and we'll put our bulb back in the fixture. Actually, I didn't check if there's this writing on the base. It's in a bit better condition than the other one. That stick is probably going to get burnt from the heat, of it, honestly, but um, we'll see how long it lasts. Okay, so now we'll have a look inside here. I unscrewed it. There is usually a bit of glass over that, by the way. It's sitting over there. So, just set this down. Here we have all of our equipment. We have our Atco ballast. It is designed for MV lamps, but you can use it with MH if there's an igniter. You can see in that diagram on the ballast, there isn't an igniter, which I always thought was interesting. Here we have the igniter that's in the fixture. Um, as you can see, it's not connected. Um, these were the connections, and I've just tied them off. This just goes straight to the bulb. This comes out the ballast and goes straight to the bulb. And we have our power factor correction capacitor. 2006, I reckon. I'm going to say that is what that's going at. Yeah, I'm thinking 2006. I'm not getting anything else on the ballast. Sometimes on the sides they print in pink letters, but I can't see anything. So, judging by the capacitor, I think this fixture is from 2006. Um, yeah. So I'm actually just going to double check that this is actually wired up correctly. It uh, actually did work, so it should be. I can't believe it is. Um, I used wire nuts on these because I don't have many of them, and they're really quick and easy. And because this is kind of an American thing, wire nuts are kind of an American thing, we don't really use them here in Australia, I decided that it would be appropriate to use wire nuts. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and slide this glass in because these bulbs, because it's an older one, they do think they can rupture. Oh, it says on the package. So now I'm going to put the camera back in the tripod and we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on. Three, two, one. It's a very deep red in person. Very deep red. That's kind of what it looks like in person, except it's even pinker. It's quite white on the camera. Very beautiful fixture. Very beautiful pink glow. So we'll go ahead and we'll let it warm up. Okay, so we're pretty much at full brightness now, I believe. Um, so I'm just going to take this out of here. And you can see it is very bright. Um, I'm really happy that I finally got a bulb for this fixture. This is how well it lights things up. It's pretty bright. I've got every other light in here off right now. So yeah, we'll get a close up. The In person, the light is obviously mercury vapor. It's um, very white with not a hint. There's a hint of pink, but not as much as my uh, 80 watt mercury vapor Sylvania Urban or the uh, B3000 that's right there. But we'll take a closer look at the bulb. Obviously it's very bright. I can barely look at it in person. This is what it looks like. I 
I'm just going to completely wash out the picture now. Whoa, yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm really happy with this. We'll see if we can get a little look at the etch. Obviously, it's pretty bright, so it's going to be kind of hard for you to get a look at the etch. So I'm going to go ahead and power it down now. In three, two, one. I've got arc eye, so I can't see the glow down, which is kind of funny. I'll turn these other lights on before I walk into something. Yeah, it's a bit warm. Um, so, yeah, that is my 175 watt mercury vapor light fixture. Um, I do hope you enjoy and we'll probably see more videos of this in the future. Thank you for watching.